All right, so with the project open, we're going to create our new project. So I'm going to set file, new level, and I'm going to select empty level. Here we'll see that we've got a level with nothing in it. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, grab a floor. So I'll grab a floor here, and I will scroll down and grab a wall. I'm going to grab the two of them by selecting shift and I'm going to hit the little reset to default yellow arrows next to the location. This will place both of them at the origin uh, or the zero zero of my world. I'm going to find the side that my wall is kind of facing and I'll select my floor and hit spacebar until I get the rotation widget and I'll rotate that 90 degrees. Next, I'll hold down alt and drag up my floor, then I'll right click on the now ceiling and we'll select transform mirror in Z to flip that. I'm going to hold shift and select all of my meshes. I'll hold alt and drag out uh, twice there uh, to the right. And then I'll hold alt and drag out left another two times. So I've got four sections of walls, floors, and ceilings. Next, I'm going to grab this hallway corner, and I'll drag this out into my scene. Um, I want it to kind of snap uh, to this wall. Uh, so I could try to line it up. It's not that big of an issue. Uh, but pretty cool little trick is I'm going to select one of my walls. And I'll right click on the location and hit copy. Then I'll select this other wall, right click on location and hit paste. And that will snap it right to that. Now I just have to worry about kind of dragging it in one axis. Okay, so we can see that uh, we've got a little gap here uh, on the floor. Uh, so I'm going to grab these two walls and ceilings and drag those over. And then I will uh, grab the rest of these. and hit Alt and drag them over so we have a second row. Okay, next I'll Alt drag. Then I can right click on this, transform mirror in X. Okay, and we'll do the same thing. I'll uh, drag these, copy them over, and then with those Oh, looks like I selected maybe something else. Okay, then we'll grab these two and drag them over. All right, so next I can just type in wall and hit enter, and that will grab all of my walls. I will alt duplicate and drag, and then I'll right click transform mirror in Y. Then I'll line these up like so, and I'll grab a row of my floor and ceilings and duplicate those. Again with Alt and drag. And there we go. We're starting to get the beginnings of our scene. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type in start and I'll drag in what's called a player start. Now when I hit the play button, we'll see that nothing happens. I'm going to hit escape. And the reason that sort of nothing happened was that we don't have any lights. So I'm going to hold the L key and I'll click just kind of in the middle of my room here and bring a light up. Now when I hit play, we'll see that I've got 
uh, a light I can move around with kind of W, A, S, and D. And we've got the beginnings of our level. All right, so I want to be able to have a first person player uh, game type. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this add import button and we're gonna go to add feature or content pack. I'm going to make sure I'm in the blueprint features and I'm gonna select first person, which is already, which is the first thing here. I'm gonna click add to project and we'll see that we get these two folders first person and first person blueprint. Okay, I can now close this window. I can double click on my untitled uh, world node up here and the game mode override. I can now select first person game mode. Okay, so now when I hit play, I should have first person character that I'm able to run uh, around with uh, in my level. All right, great. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to save our level. So I'm going to select file, save current and it'll prompt me to name it. I'm going to name it uh, Gamma Subway and hit save. Now, when I close my project out and I open up the Epic Games Launcher and I go to my library and I select my Subway Sequencer project, we're gonna see that it opens up with that default level. Okay, so what we need to do now that we have a level saved, we need to go to Edit, Project Settings. We're gonna select Maps and Modes, and we're gonna select our editor startup map to be the level that we want the editor to start up with. So for me, it's gonna be my Gamma Subway, and I'll just hit Close. I can close this, and again, once the project is launched, it will open up with my level at the start. Okay, awesome. 